Uh, hello, we're here with Soren Patilinet, um, Senior Director of Consumer Insights for Mars. H how are you doing? Doing great. Great. Uh, so our first question, sort of a, a, an expansive one, is um, why is attention so important for advertisers and marketers? But it's the buzz word of the year, no? I mean, uh, and it's been the buzzword of the year for uh, for some time now. Um, joke aside, um, I think attention is important for for advertisers because it gets us closer to the consumer. I sincerely believe that we've uh, during the last uh, decades or so we slowly forgotten that at the end of our uh, hard work sits a consumer that is consuming the messages that uh, we put out there. And uh, they've given us different signals that uh, maybe what we're doing, the choices we're making are not uh, are not perfect. From ad blocking to skipping behaviors to second screen viewings and so on. So I think uh, attention and focusing on attention means focusing on what consumers uh, are spotlighting on. And then it's a great opportunity for advertisers to just be more consumer centric and understand uh, what platforms uh, there is more lean into, uh, what formats are, are driving a better reaction and uh, sort of navigate this kind of uh, opportunity space that is more and more complex uh, in the multimedia world. And you mentioned it's a buzzword that a lot of people are talking about today. So why is attention such a, a huge, a hot topic and, and something that people are focusing on today? Is it that, you know, we're, we're really moving from the lab to practical applications or is the technology catching up? Why, why is attention having its big moment today? So I think it's not just attention that's having a big moment. I think it's a measurement of, uh, of outcomes that's having a big moment. I mean, uh, we, we're talking a lot of, I mean, I think the industry is a little bit uh, done with talking about uh, the opportunities of big data. And I think the biggest opportunity that that unlocked is more relevant messages and a better understanding of, uh, of output. I can I can only speak about Mars here, but I think attention offers offers an amazing way to to look at uh, what triggers a consumer reactions. And uh, at Mars, we've been um, we've been involved in this topic for quite some time now, um, because from an angle that uh, that looked for uh, for a pro proxy for business outcome, we we've been using uh, attention at the creative level. To understand what messages are uh, are are holding the the consumers' uh, interest a little bit more than than other, and therefore optimizing the the messages that we put up there, because the last thing you want is uh, is an ad that someone pays one second of attention and then completely ignores it until the end. That's that's wasted. Uh, that's a wasted budget, let's say. So obviously, Mars is um, is very invested in attention and sort of been leading from the brand side. W what is your advice to, you know, um, maybe another brand that uh, has has read about it is, um, you know, more interested in 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 bringing it to their uh, organization, but maybe doesn't know where to start. I think I think most. Most advertisers that I've spoken to uh, are already on a path to embracing attention. So I think there are very few who are ignoring the topic, which is great. Um, if I would, uh, who am I to give some advice? I, mean, <laughs> I would start uh, by uh, by advising them to look at their numbers, uh, to really look at what's the percentage of uh, of attention that their communication is getting across platforms or across different brands and executions and they might be at least worried if not uh, shocked by uh, by how their uh, um, their executions in which they spend so much time and effort are uh, basically seen for uh, for drops of seconds drops of time mm -hmm. so that's what i would say at the start if you're not already doing it i mean uh stopping um i think there is a big um the, there is a big work stream that many of our peer companies and sometimes even at mars i see that happening is that uh, we want to link attention to sales and we want to establish a correlation and causation between uh, 
between attention and sales. And uh, it's hard. I mean, it's hard because uh, uh, the way you capture attention is not the same across, uh, let's say, across TV and, and digital. So there are... I don't think that the topic or the the practices are so evolved to be able to to draw that correlation. But uh, I would say stop trying to look for the link to sale, but uh, think that um, no one can say that less attention is better than than more attention. So you can always optimize on uh, attempting that your format, your media placement, your creative gets more attention than than before. The last one would be, I would advise the industry to continue to push forward uh, and adopt attention as a uh, quality of media measure. I mean, we, we're we making steps, we're making steps in the right direction there, but it needs a little bit more uh, consensus among all players in the industry uh, to, make that, uh, to make that goal because uh, once that is uh, once that is set, I think we are in a space in which we put consumers first. Uh, we stop talking about CPMs when we're talking about consumer behaviors uh, in media buying processes. So I think uh, we will be very mindful, and uh, they will pay more attention to us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for inviting me.